We continue our series here breaking down the states of each and every franchise. Today we look at the case of the New York Mets. Let's get into it. What's going on baseball fans? Jeremy Laracuente here for the Baseball Banter Broadcast. And as I said in the open today, we are studying the state of the franchise for the New York Mets. Obviously, we have to begin with the acquisitions that were made. Max Scherzer is a huge addition to this team. They would trade for Chris Bassett, sign Adam Adovino to round out the pitching acquisitions, as well as bringing in Mark Canna, Starling Marte, and Eduardo Escobar. These are solid additions to a team that was already going to be built pretty well in 2022, even if none of these moves had been made. But now you're looking at a serious powerhouse threat in the National League East. Now, as we look at the 2022 X Factor, to me, it's not even a player on the squad, but it is manager Buck Showalter. In our predictions for the X Factors for each team in this 2022 campaign, I made the case for Buck Showalter, so links to that video will be down in the show notes below. But I think there's an opportunity for Buck Showalter to kind of change the tide here for the New York Mets. Now, that being said, there's already some bad waves going through Mets camp with the injury to Jacob deGrom. And depending on how long Jacob is out, this is really going to hurt the Mets chances on being able to get to the predicted ranking level that I placed them at as first in the National League East division. I think if the ground is out for any serious length of time, even having Max Scherzer, it's going to feel like more of the same with the New York Mets calamity that follows this franchise around. I think there's an opportunity if the ground gets back and he's healthy for the rest of the year that we could see some absolutely dynamic things. So as we get into the state of the pitching, Jacob DeGrom and Max Scherzer is one of the most dynamic one-two punches that we will ever see in the history of Major League Baseball. Now, obviously, that is predicated on the fact of Jacob DeGrom being healthy and pitching. We also know that he was planning to opt out of his deal, but that's likely not to happen if he is unhealthy for the 2022 campaign. You also add in the addition of Chris Bassett to this rotation to go along with Taiwan Walker and Carlos Carrasco, and this is an absolutely dynamic five man rotation you also add in the guy who got their opening day start in Tyler McGill and you have the makings of an absolutely unbelievable rotation for the New York Mets the addition of Adam Adovino to go along with Seth Lugo Trevor May and Edwin Diaz to me build out a bullpen that is absolutely going to help the Mets not just stay in games but hold the leads down when they have it I also think there's an opportunity that if this Mets pitching staff can stay healthy that they can have an absolutely dynamic dynamic year with the managerial services and strategy of Buck Showalter. As we look at the state of the offense, to me, this is an A-level offensive force. Pete Alonso, Robinson Cano, Eduardo Escobar, Francisco Lindor, Starling Marte, Mark Canna, Dominic Smith, Brandon Nimmo, Jeff McNeil. These players are all littered throughout this lineup. They have so many players in this lineup that they're not having enough lineup spots for on a given night. That is a beautiful problem to have if you're manager Buck Showalter. I also think that this is one of the few teams in the National League that came into the announcement of the Universal DH already having plenty of suitors for that position. Now, as we look at the state of this franchise, we have to give it a C grading. Now, this is where we have to temper expectations because they still are the New York Mets. And as we see already, there's already some calamity following them around with the injury to Jacob DeGrom. There's a lot of high hopes for the New York Mets fans with this team, with this front office, with Billy Epler, with Buck Showalter as the manager. But if the same things start to follow them around, it's still going to feel like the same old, same old for the New York Mets. You would hope as a Mets fan that there's going to be a change because of the change in leadership and ownership. But if things start to deteriorate, we start to have to question whether or not this franchise has something more that's plaguing it. Now, my bold prediction for the New York Mets in 2022 is the fact that I do believe that Buck Showalter will win manager of the year. But I wanna hear from you guys. Let me know your feelings, your thoughts on this down in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on the New York Mets? Is it going to be more of the same where they have high expectations and lofty goals and then fall flat on their face? Or is this a team because of the new management, because of the new front office, the new ownership, that this is going to be a team that absolutely changes the course of the way that they've been viewed and perceived throughout the last several years and start to make their way towards winning a World Series? 
I want to hear all these thoughts on this down in the comment section below. You can find me over on Twitter at jladdockwinter 19 if you want to keep the conversation rolling. As always, keep it locked into the entire JLMG family with We Sib, the Granite Geek Show, and of course here on the Baseball Banter Broadcast. For sticking around all the way to the end, I want to offer you a promo code on BaseballBanterBroadcast.com, our merchandise shop. Use the promo code BANTER to save 5% off your order. So keep it locked in all season long as I continue to bring you the breakdown, the states of each and every franchise, as well as the latest news, notes, and my personal thoughts, theories, and opinions on the game of Major League Baseball. Peace.